Hello everybody, my name is Pam and V is behind the camera. Hey guys. And we are the Kindred Vegans and today I am going to make a whole food plant-based salsa that is going to go with something else we're making today for lunch. So this is a great lunch al alternative for you if you're following the starch solution, whole food plant-based weight loss. Like us, you're doing a 50-50 plate. This recipe has lots of veggies mixed with carbs, um, so it comes out about 50-50 and it's delicious and quick and easy too. Okay, so let me tell you what we have for ingredients. I have two cups of black eyed peas and I cooked these myself really easy. I did it in an Instapot. I put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and then I just pressure cook them for about 10 minutes and they come out delicious. Do you soak them overnight? I did not soak these. Okay. No. Although you can, but yeah. I did not. I have two cups of blueberries and these were frozen. These are my blueberries. They came from my plants. Yay. And this is two cups of whole kernel corn. And this was frozen, although you can use fresh, but I did not have time to cook the corn and then um, cut it off the cob. So I just used frozen corn. I have one English cucumber here that's all chopped up. One red bell pepper for, for color and for flavor in here, a nice crunch. I have a half of a jalapeno that is seeded and chopped up for a little bit of heat. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro. I have three green onions that I've diced up here. And then I'm just going to put some lime juice on that. It's the only liquid that's gonna be in here is gonna be the lime juice. And then I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper for a little bit of added flavor in there. Okay. Now, now you want to yes. tell them that since we're using this with another recipe, so the veggies might look less, but for a salad, you can bump up the greens. Like you can do spinach, mm -hmm. a spinach base, a yeah. kale base, right. or, or and even a it, spring turn mix. And it into a real yeah. salad instead of a yeah. salsa. Yes. But I do think this is pretty good. By the time you get it all mixed up, you'll see. Yeah. Because there's a lot of cucumber in here. Yeah. Another thing you could do instead of cucumber is use zucchini. Yeah. You know, chop up a raw zucchini. I wouldn't cook yeah. it. I'd just chop it up raw, and that would be good too. All right, so let's start getting this together here. I have my cucumber. I love cucumber. Yeah. Cucumber's just I so mean, delicious. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's part of our life, I guess. I know, it's we, just we such a staple. Well, it's quick and easy. And it's and easy delicious. to get too, yeah. And it kind of keeps you full too. Yep. Sorry about that. Crunch. It's all right. Yeah. And here's some blueberries. You can see it's just nice whole foods, you know? They, what are the, what's the meme? They are ingredients. They don't contain ingredients. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm putting in my black eyed peas. Oh, you got the bigger bowl of me, but seriously. It's still not big enough. I know. <laughs> Okay, let me take the limes off the plate. Red bell pepper, green onions, and cilantro. And I'm gonna have to mix this up. Sorry, you'll get a little bit of workout, I guess. Yep. Okay, let me try to mix it up a little bit first and then I'm gonna squeeze the lime juice on the top. I'm gonna get down to the cucumber. See the color, isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I've done mango salsa before, mm -hmm. but um, I tried a recipe that was not like this, but it had blueberries in it. And the blueberry is just different and fresh. And since I have plenty of blueberries from my blueberry bushes this year, I thought that would be perfect to add. A little bit of sweet, just a little bit, yeah. to go balance out that heat. Okay, now let me squeeze the lime on and I'll mix it up a little bit more. This is just two limes. Let's squeeze it as much as we can. Get as much out of here as possible. I get it all, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm gonna use probably three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and mix that in as I go. And this is a nice, delicious recipe. My kids even love this. So that says something right there. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're looking for vegan recipes, 
Um, this is great. And this makes a great picnic recipe as well. If yeah. you're going to a picnic, you don't need to have this with any kind of uh, Mexican dishes or anything like that. This just makes a great side dish for a picnic. Okay, so this is done. And I've just plated up a little bit of it here, as you can see, in this bowl. And I wanted to mention that I made my own chips because you never know what are in the chips and most of them are fried. They've got a lot of salt added. So all I do is take regular corn tortillas and make sure you read the labels on your corn tortillas because some of them have added oils, right. which you don't want. I took those, I cut them into little pizza shapes. Yeah. And then you just toast them up in the oven. It takes about five to 10 minutes on a 350 degree oven and you have your own corn chips, corn tortilla chips. And, and there it is. Isn't it delicious? It looks pretty. Yeah. A nice whole food plant-based meal, really simple, minimal salt, no oil, lots of fresh veggies, and just a great vegan recipe. And you can pair this with any Mexican dish. What V is gonna make, and we will be posting next week, is the taquitos that we're gonna eat with this that are mostly vegetables. Vegetables with the corn um, tortilla. So make sure you stay tuned next week so you can see what goes with this to make a fabulous Mexican vegan meal that your family will love too. Make sure you're following us on all the social media, Facebook we're Kindred Vegans, Instagram we're K Vegans, and we show all of our food on Kindred Vegans and how we're losing weight following a whole food plant-based diet that is 50-50 compliant, which is from the starch solution. So if you're interested in more about that, pick up Dr. McDougall's book, The Starch Solution, and you can really see how you can lose weight pretty quickly because we're doing it pretty quickly. And we're enjoying all the delicious foods. So you all have a good day and we will talk to you later. Bye now. Bye guys.